I'm hiding out in my parents' room because my mom's working and I don't want to be loud while she's working. Okay, but so today I have a surprise. <laughs> Since I'm now 18, we're going to the strip club. No, I'm kidding. We're going to bake something. And I figured since this is like episode one, that I'll just make the easiest thing, which is chocolate chip cookies. I need to go copy down my recipe though, because it's online. So I don't have to keep staring at a computer. Okay, so the first thing you do anytime you bake is you preheat the oven. And so we need to preheat to 350, which is like the universal baking heat. Like nine times out of 10, it's gonna be 350 or like 425. I don't know how to set that phone up. Mm. Um, the next thing before you do anything else is wash your hands. I'm just gonna pause and I'll get it all out and then I'll. This is all you're gonna need. Super easy, super slay. Everyone, if you live in America, you have all this in your kitchen. Um, so first, you're gonna get a big bowl. You want like a pretty big one? Because if you make, like it, the gel gets small, but when you're mixing it, the flour will go like everywhere. So we just use a big bowl. So we're done. Um, and then you'll need a spatula. You can do all this in a stand mixer, but this is the beginner class and we're not getting it out. So we use it with our hands. So first what you do is you're going to do the f sugar and the brown sugar. I have, so there's two kinds of brown sugar. I have light and brown. It like literally doesn't matter. I mix them. I think it's fine. Someone else might say it matters, but like I've never had an issue. So we're just gonna use what we have. We're gonna do a half cup of brown sugar. It doesn't need to be packed. I know that's also like a rule and I very much like eyeball it. So that was good. The only difference between light and brown sugar, light brown and dark brown, brown sugar, is like the amount of molasses. It doesn't matter. Then, you'll do white sugar, and it's a cup. That's a lot, but you know, if you're making cookies, you're not making them to be skinny. So, then you have one, because I didn't do a full cup. I very much eyeball. And it's always good, so. You too can eyeball. Next. Okay, it's a cup of butter. Anyone know how much that is? Two. Which is a lot. Um, and then you're going to heat it up till it's like half melted. Cause you still want it to have some shape, but you also want it to be like melted. So I cook it in the microwave for like 30 seconds to start. And sometimes that's enough. And then sometimes you need to add like 10 seconds intervals till it gets where you want. But I also might be eating my words, so we'll see. Okay, come over here and put the butter in the microwave, and then I forgot what I said. Thirty seconds. I think that's what I said. That's what it looks like after three seconds. It's not at all done. So we're gonna do it for longer. Okay, this is a really specific time, but this was 52 seconds. 
that's what you want it to look like. So then we'll add it to the sugar. And then, sorry, this isn't mad. Then you'll just mix it. That might not have been done, but it's okay. Oh yeah, I'll definitely have to put this back in the microwave. Okay, I lied. Just mostly melt it. It doesn't need to be like this. Yeah, no, this needs to be microwaved. I'll be right back. This is like the perfect consistency. Very smooth, very clean, very fresh. Um, now, let's look. We need to add two eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla-ish. You can do really however much, it doesn't matter. Okay, so then now you mix that up and then let it sit for a second because it might be a little warm and you want it to kind of cool a little bit down before you start adding like the rest. Let's take a little pause while it's cooling down. And everyone say hi to Riley. Say hi, Riley. She said hi. Back to it. This is what mine looks like. It's been sitting for about 10 minutes. It's definitely good. Good and ready. Now. And if yours is a different consistency, it literally does not matter. Oh my god. The thinner. Hello. Okay. We'll just try it. Um, the thinner, the more like fat or the more flat and like the chewy with like the crunchy like outside it'll be and then if it's more thick it'll be like the more like like cakier it doesn't matter i'll taste the same i like mine thinner because i like the thin ones so that's why mine's thin but what would you do if when you okay so he said yes would go if it's water, you definitely did something wrong. I don't know how that happened, but we'll just keep going. Um, next, you need three cups of flour. And you don't want to, like, pack the flour in because it'll end up being too much. So I just get more than I need and, like, shake it off. And if I know, if I like level it and it'll fit, then I just dump it in. Cause that's just how I do it. Okay, so now that you have your flour, then you add a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay, I found it and I forgot to record, but I put the baking soda in. Um, salt, you're gonna wanna add a half teaspoon I like salty chocolate chip cookies, so I'm gonna add more. And I don't even measure, I just sprinkle. And then when my heart tells me that's enough, then it's enough. Okay, now we're gonna mix it again. I'll show you what that looks like after. Okay, this is like the ideal chocolate chip cookie dough consistency. You want it to be kind of like, you can touch it and not stick, but it's kind of oily. That's right. And then lastly is the chocolate chips. Oh, the angle is better. I'm so sorry if this is like the most atrocious angle. Well, it's off the cap. So I have dark chocolate and milk chocolate, so I'm gonna use both because I think that sounds good. And like, who are we kidding? We're gonna add like a whole lot. So I'm gonna add the rest of these. And another thing you can do when you're making these is when you do the butter, you can brown it on the stove, which is a little difficult, but like if you... Okay, anyways, um, you can brown it on the stove. It just makes it taste a little like, like, I'm trying to get the word. It's just a little like nutty, but like caramely, it's really good. I recommend. I made cookies for my birthday and I made brown butter. 
kitchen sink cookies. There we go. Which, this is kind of the same thing. It's just without like all the extra stuff, but. Okay, now that it is all mixed in, the secret to kind of it, the secret, no, that was cringe. Um, the way it kind of sets up really good is if you put it in the fridge for 30 minutes, they just come out 10 times better. You can like 100% bake them right now. They just might turn out a tiny bit differently. But if you put them in just like the fridge, uncovered, it doesn't matter. For like 30 minutes, it, they turn out so good. So I'll be right back. I want to make like the ultimate like, like, <laughs> like gluten-free, sugar-free, egg-free cookie. It probably would be disgusting. <laughs> But I'm ready. No. Okay, they're almost done sitting. Um, so now we're gonna get out the the things, the cookie sheets and parts of the paper. Okay. Now, nice and cool. And then I'm gonna use a spoon, a big one and just use it to scoop the dough about that big about that much and then i use my hands roll it up and set it out okay so i made exactly two dozen large cookies with that recipe so you can make them bigger smaller cut the recipe in half whatever you want to do but so now the oven is preheated. It's been preheated for a while. And then I would start with 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, I'll be back. Okay, so after 10 minutes, they look like this. They're not done. So I did another two minutes. And then you just do like two minute intervals until they're like done. Like as much as you want them done, I guess. I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so this is about 14 to 16 minutes they come out looking really puffy and weird it's totally fine just give them 30 minutes to rest and they kind of like sink down and get that kind of like thin and like crackly texture so that yeah um you can turn off your oven because they're fine and then just leave them like how they are for 30 minutes um these ones are still a little but like those so good okay. Yeah. That's how you make a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. Um, look at the snow. Wow. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, if you want to see something new, next I'll probably make bread when I have like time because this is very impromptu. Um, I'm going to do a handstand. Ready? I'm going to do a backflip. <laughs>